guys once again welcome 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 and last time we went over the checkout settings so we've done general checkout shipping and delivery um we don't need to touch taxes don't need to mess with locations now funny thing funny funny thing um with shipping and delivery if you want to change the location of your store or, or change your shipping location you'd have to edit it edit your location under the locations tab all right now we have notifications we don't need to mess with that don't need to mess with gift cards don't need to really mess with files we'll be using this later don't need to mess with sales channels as yet. We'll set those up um, in a future video. Don't need to mess with store languages, nor billing, nor plans and permissions. And by the way, this is where you go to add um, additional staff to your Shopify. So all that's really left is the legal settings, the legal page. All right, and we kind of left this this particular setting until last for a particular reason that is the customer service email address that we um, set under general settings that is this one support at miskitchen.com that's the email address the support email address that'll show up in our policies so again from the home screen we go to settings and then legal then on the legal we're just gonna go ahead and create from template we're going to create from template for the refund policy, privacy policy, and the terms of service. Now, you may want to check through your refund policy and edit it as um, needed for yourself. But I like a 30 day return policy. Open 30 day return policy. If you get the item, you don't like it, you can return it that's just my policy and it works and it goes through like the basic the basic that you actually need All right now after this we're gonna create a few extra pages we're gonna create a shipping page we're gonna create some FAQs we're gonna do an affiliate page as well as um, an affiliate program but those will come under the apps we're using right. now for the privacy policy we do need to do just a little bit of editing it says add our subtract so these notation markers are telling you what to add to your policy or remove and we're just gonna check to see that what we're moving makes sense the Shopify Customer support information, examples of personal information collected, um, is
part collected from you let's go there for business purpose um vendors we are not collecting offline data As we're selling, selling like X-rated stuff or any adults. Providers will not be well advertising. Insert if applicable. Yes, we do use Google Analytics. And we are gonna install Google Analytics. It's important because Google Analytics recently changed. So we will go over that soon. Come on. Come on, links include. This is we can just remove tension. We do not engage in fully automated decision making. sell personal information if you do it that's on you but I don't do that I sell personal information nor will I ever sell personal information that is just not my cup of tea GDPR for Great Britain. All right, right to know. Cookies, we can kind of skip the cookies section, except for right after all the cookies. Remove this one. Alright, all the cookies. Do not track changes. So, address information on where persons can opt out. Make a complaint. And I am gonna backdate this. I'm gonna set this as um um maybe the fifth um, zero one zero five day nineteen. So it just says we we've been in business for a little bit longer. Then, remember guys, this support email isn't live as yet. We need to go create that and we will do that in 
a future video. And that's basically it for your policies, guys. So once you've made your edits, you can edit them more if you want to. Once you've edited them to your liking, you could go ahead and just click save changes. Um, there's also a shipping policy section where you get to create your own shipping policy. Um, if you are drop shipping from AliExpress, then I do suggest that you put in place a shipping policy that reflects the expected shipping times. If you are using a more premium supplier, then you could adjust your shipping times as necessary. All right, guys. So, if you found this to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead, drop me a like, leave a comment, let me know if you have questions. It helps the channel, guys. It really does help the channel. And remember, we are doing this together. We are going to be testing a lot, like lots and lots and lots of stuff. This will be the sacrificial store. Alright guys, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a like once more and thank you for tuning in.